So here we are given there is a thin disk of radius r and it's rotating with angular velocity omega. We are supposed to find the field and the magnetic moment. So field at the center and magnetic moment of the disk. So it's given surface charge density is sigma ampere per meter square. So because the disk is rotating, when the, this charge is rotating, it will generate a current and that generated current will generate a field at the center and it will also create a magnetic moment. So let's take a small ring of width dx at a distance x and we'll calculate the field and magnetic moment because of this elemental ring. And then we are going to integrate the x from 0 to r to get the total field and total magnetic moment. So di is equal to dq by dt. So a small charge dq through this strip is sigma da. And that charge crosses in time, in time one time period. So dq by dt is sigma da charge on the strip divided by time period of the circular motion. So dA is 2 pi x dx and time period is 2 pi by omega. So this is your dA. Now for field at the center because of the loop is mu naught dA by 2x standard result, result. So dA we are going to replace by this and we are going to integrate it from 0 to r to get the total field. Now magnetic moment is Ia. So again small magnetic moment because of this strip is small current through the strip times area of this whole circle. So Di into A. So Di will take from here and area is pi x square. So again we are going to integrate this from 0 to r to get our magnetic moment. So this is one way to calculate magnetic moment. Another way is we know that the ratio of magnetic moment to angular momentum is q by 2m. So mu is equal to L times q by 2m. And L for a rotating disc is I omega. I is mr square by 2. So this becomes mr square by 2 into omega into q charge on the disk sigma into pi r square divided by 2m. So m will get cancelled and you will get the same result as we got here.